What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Richard Riak, Paul, Fabio Turchi, the post-fight recap. So what did we think of that one? Now, when I broke this fight down, I had this fight go in the distance. I felt like Fabio Turchi had had enough pedigree, enough movement, enough motion to make this one go a little bit longer. He had a good round, right? He landed a good shot while he was in pursuit. It looked like he was closing the gap. But then the second round came and we saw what Richard Riakpo was doing. We know that that jab was going to come. We know he was going to use that jab as a, as a lever to gauge the distance and to keep Fabio Turchi at bay. And man, he used that extremely well. But I saw something else in Richard Riakpo. The maturity in the ring, how he, how much more he's composed in the ring, more confident in the ring, more confident in his skills. He took a big shot in the first round, but he brushed it off and came in the second round and was still that calm, same demeanor, moving around the ring, biding his time, not rushing any shots. And boom, the body shot came and took out Fabio Turkey. It was a beautiful shot. And so the question is now, what is next for Richard Riakpo? Right, We saw the post fight where he said he wanted all the champions. He wants all to smoke. And that's a confident fighter. Because I think now at this stage in his career, he now not only believes in his skills, but he knows he has the power to get him out of trouble. If he fights someone where they may be more skilled than him, he has the power in the eraser to equal the fight if need be. It's a confidence thing right now for Richard Riakpo. But the question is, is he ready? I absolutely think so. It doesn't matter which angle he goes. I think he might fight Lawrence Acoli last and try and go get the other belts, but that would be a great fight regardless of the fact. Richard Riakpo is ready for a title shot. How he's been able to improve over the years and to get better and to trust in his skills more and to be in the gym and to continue to work and to be in the gym and continue to come out and be active. You have to believe that with every single fight, his confidence grows and he believes that he's the best in that division. I believe he's ready for a title shot, but do you believe at the audience? Do you believe he's ready for a title shot? I do. But do you? I'm just posing the question. He believes he has all of the skills to be a dominant champion in this division for years to come. He believes it right now, not the future, but now. He says he wants to fight again in the fall in a couple months. So that must mean that he must have someone in mind. His team must have someone in mind. Who does he fight next? We don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. But I think I think Richard Riakpo gives all of the champions problems. Now, he said in the post-fight interview that the champions are afraid they're running away from him. I don't know if that's true. That's speculation. That's his opinion. If this is the same Richard Riakpo with the focus and the intensity and the maturity, if this is the same Richard Riakpo that we continue to see in every fight, then at some point, that belt is going to be around his waist. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Who do you think he should fight next? And if you've been watching this long, then do me a huge favor and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.